It all started in a schoolyard. When I was about seven years old, most of my girlfriends would gather around, play jump rope, double dutch, or hopscotch. But what they were mostly known for was being rude to one another, bullying each other, and creating tragedies for no reason whatsoever. As I remember just sitting there, watching the drama unfold, and shaking my head of disbelief over how glaringly obvious their extreme immaturity was, which made me lean towards having more guy friends. You know, seven-year-old guys are way cooler to hang out with, right? You get no spite, no hate, and no unnecessary fights over who has the longest hair or the best dress. It's just fun. And now that I look into it, it's traumatizing all of the hate that you could get from a person who is, biologically speaking, the same as you. It's even worse when they do so to seek men's approval. This famous American writer named Trish McGregor once said, You give away all of your personal power every time you seek validation from someone else for who you are. And you know what? I don't even blame them for it. I blame our ancestors who made us believe that girls were not supposed to stand by each other. I blame them for teaching their daughters that other girls were only other competitors on the men market. Since before the feminist movement in 1960, women were not work material, so they were all destined to be married in order to be fulfilled, socially presentable, and worthy. A woman before only had to look pretty and remain silent, as the man would be the one to do the talking. A woman before only had to physically take care, to physically be the best version of herself and take care of her physical appearance to be called a woman, which means she obviously had to fight for it. But let's face it, that was all before. It's not the 18th century anymore. People have changed, societies have changed, the whole world has changed, yet this mindset is still the same. And if it keeps going that way, then women will not make history. Women will never make history if I or my friends get shamed for literally being ourselves. Women will never make history if a chunk of them mocks as most girls for supporting the feminist cause. Women will not make history if girls call each other names more than guys would. Women will never make history if our mothers, our sisters, and most of the women that we have faith in would tell us not to trust any other girl because all, all they, they would do is bring us down and destroy us. Women will not make history if all of the vicious and wounding comments that we will ever get for the rest of our days will be from other women. So my message today to all of the girls out there, if we don't uphold each other and if we don't stick together as a community to face it all together and to stand tall against all of the external hate that we get, which is by the way more than enough to take, then we are for sure going to be torn apart, leaving the upcoming generations shattered as a broken vase. So girls, it is now or never. Thank you.